Hello everybody, it's Corey the Gamer here, and I'm going to be playing some more Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we beat Dragon Roost Cavern, and we got the song of... We got the Wind's Requiem, um, or however you pronounce it. So what we need to do, we need to make the wind go south, I believe, if I remember correctly. As the King of Run Lines are about, is about to tell us which way we're supposed to go. Um, if we want to, later on, um... We can go to Windfall Island a little bit later on and see if we can get the um, swift sail. But to do that, we will need to get quite a amount of rubies. So, I guess we will see that later. But as of now, I hope you guys like the new borders I have added to the sides. Because I was watching, I don't like I don't like the black bars that are there. So I, I was just trying to uh, make it a little bit better without the black bars obviously so you know it's whatever so tell me how, what you guys think of the new borders around the game if you guys think I should change it or whatever you know just tell me in the comments tell you um I just want your opinion of it pretty much but anyways now we're going to go south from where we are which is Dragon Roost Island and right now we're talking to this fish and what he does is if you get bait around the fish he will um pretty much just give you part of the map so as you see he says he says hoy you there you kingly red lion guy that's it i've repaid my debt i'm done you take care of the rest so uh, i don't know what that's supposed to mean but okay and a lot of people don't like sailing in this game, which I've been over in my last episode because it apparently takes too long. But I like sailing. I don't know. It gives me like a sense of adventure, you know. And that's not like that's not actually common come across now with video games. Like there's video games that are open world but don't really feel feel very adventure, you know, like adventurous. If that makes sense. And if you guys don't know, my favorite uh, genre of video games pretty much is action fighting and adventure. And it's that's just I well, I like games and and puzzled and puzzle games. So I guess that's why I like Zelda so much. Cause that's my favorite categories. Oh no, get this. Um, if we go through the barrels, actually, we will find rubies that will start appearing uh, ahead of us. And then when uh, that's the easy way to collect rubies uh, while you're sailing. It's a little it's a little thing that you guys can do. Um, it's it's not hard to do, and if you miss, I, I just want to say if you miss, I'm not sure if more will appear, but they do. I think uh, if you do these more often, that they'll just get in higher mounts. Um, and yes, I'm in a boat and I just jumped. Don't argue with a jumping boat. <laughs> I mean, a boat boat jumping would be more understandable for like have like heavy waves. Um, but that there's no waves like that. At least for now. I was gonna say in Wind Waker, but I mean, there, there is, kinda. <laughs> no, there is. As you, as you're starting to see, as I said that. Um, I'm trying to think what this place is called. Uh, that we're going to. It's uh, I don't know. I'm trying to look at the gamepad too, see if it says that, but it doesn't. Um, I forgot what it's called. Forest Haven. It's called Forest Haven. Okay, I, I I really couldn't think of it for a while. I couldn't even think of the last episode, but no, we're going to the Forest Haven. And right there, we will be able to talk to the Deku Tree. And that'll be interesting. So, yeah. By the way, I decided I'm going to read more of the text dialogue. Um, so, like, you know, it'll feel more as if I'm, you know... Like playing, have doing a playthrough instead of just rushing through the game because I don't want to actually just rush through the game and just get a series done and over with just because I wanna. I just want to do it just because it's a fun game and I've never read much of the text. Like I'm, I read like I've read a lot of it, trust me, but I haven't read like a lot, a lot of it. So I mean, I got I read enough to know everything in the plot of the game. I just don't. I haven't read like a little things, but like for example, like the fish back there, I don't really read that text what he says, but I know what he does. If that makes sense. So, yeah. And we're also going to make a little pit stop to uh, this, uh, what's called, this little tower. I I'll get you later, Blue Ruby. Actually, no, I won't. 
because you're on disappear. So well, it did disappear. But yeah, I want to make a little pit stop to uh, this tower. And I, I, I don't know what you would really call it, but I, I also call it a tower. But I, I don't know. Tell me what you guys call it in the in the comments. It'll, I want to know because I don't know a proper name for it. Okay, then you're dead. And you fell off. And then you fell off. Okay, rest in pieces. All right. Uh, that was weird. I, that was the weirdest sound I've made. Sorry if I don't sound very energetic. I'm really tired. I haven't slept in about almost two days. So, um, I mean, I slept today, but I didn't get much sleep. So compared to what I'm supposed to be getting, it's just been a little real struggle for me lately to sleep. So if that's why I sound a little exhausted, not as uh normal as I usually do. Are way more or less uh, emotional, I guess you could say. That's why. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't really know what to say, but I mean, I just my voice is just emotionless right now. But that's fine. It's not a big deal. All right. I want to get this Ruby King Red Lines. Let me get this Ruby, please. Okay, his one to be like, hey, there's shore over the horizon. Or whatever. It's going to be some horizon or some crap. They're over the horizon, is what I'm trying to say. Oh. Uh, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? There's what where you must go, Link. The Forest Haven. Okay. I. Okay, now I know um, <laughs> what he says. I know he's still thinking about the horizon. Oops. But this is, it, but it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto, 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 grotto. I don't, I don't even know. That you will find the spirit of the deku, a uh, spirit of the earth, the deku tree, great deku tree. You must speak to the deku tree and receive from him the sacred gem as known as Pharaoh's pearl. I feel that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth, caution, Link. Okay, I will. Actually, what I forgot to do, I don't wait, did I, I don't even know. Did I buy the bait bag outside, or did I actually buy one as, uh, I'll, I'll, just, buy, I'll just buy one of these Ahoy Bears. Um, or did I, yeah, I, because I remember, uh, no, I wanted to buy it. I remember, though, um, as I was sailing to Dragon Roosters, I bought one. So, alright. That's good enough, I guess. Then... We can kill those Deku Babas by uh, just hitting our sword with them. Or you can throw a stick at them and just hit their neck, then they'll drop another stick. Oh, that stick was bouncing. I think. It looks like it was, at least. And then we get the, the Boko... the Boko Baba Seed. Then, uh, my, I mean, I don't know if they always drop them, but I'm pretty sure they do most of the time. Oh, hello. And if we do this, we can, uh, just steal it instantly from them. So, and that's what I was, that's what I'm going to do later to the goblins, so we can get the, um, so we, oops, so we can, what's it called? So we can get the cabanidine, because we will need a lot of, uh, bokoblin, or joy pendants, I mean, goblin pendants, um, joy pendants, so... It, it just makes more sense like that if we just did that later on instead of uh instead of just trying to find multiple throughout the sea or dragon roost or wherever we want to go for them it's going to be easier if i just uh grind on the first room of uh dragon roost it, it, it's i don't know it's personally what i do because at least it worked in the one, original wind waker so i don't know if it works in the hd version i haven't really tried much in this version but uh, I don't want to keep saying but. Either way, the uh in the HD version though, I don't. There is some differences with the game mechanics. Um, so by the way, you guys can watch this quickly. It's it's not really much, but it was just a little cutscene. Dude, that's really the whole 
half of it. That's, that's not much. Hylian text. I must apologize. I was in error. I saw your clothing and it suddenly felt like a long longing for an age had gone by. That that longing caused an ancient tongue to pass through my lips. I am the garden spirit garden spirit <laughs> guardian spirit of the forest, Haven, the Deku Tree. I owe you I owe you to, I owe you my thanks for your aid in writing me uh in writing me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the king of Reliance who the boat who speaks who led you to this place? So it is true. Then you have come here because you you have need of the guardian, the pearl of the goddess. Guardian, why am I talking? I don't know. I'm 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 tired. Don't judge me. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Croxel, children of the woods, this. Yeah, Korox, little children of the woods. This is ch this traveler is not your enemy. Let's let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. These guys are actually in Breath of the Wild, and um, it's really cool because the, uh, this is only this game in Breath of the Wild is the only game that you have Korox, and there's 900 Korox. Fun fact: a few of these Korox. What do you call yourself? A few of these Korox link question mark. <laughs> A few of these Koroks are actually in uh, Breath of the Wild too, so the same as next ones. Wind then Link. These are the Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took up took on human forms, but when they came to live in the sea, they took these shapes. No, they fear people, but to me, they will they will ever they will ever be cherished from little children. As it happens, you have come come just in time for the first ceremony that the Koroks hold. But once ev that Koroks hold, but once every year, it, it is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl you once the to you once the ceremony is over. I must apologize for this brief delay, but if the ceremony is not complete soon, and I'll fate us, I'll fate could befall us. So let it, let it begin. Are you ready, my children? We 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 are not. Oh, great Deku Tree! Something terrible has happened to Makar. Makar. What what is the matter, Linder? What is the matter, Linder? Yeah, when's the matter, Linder? You and Makar are always late. No 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 no, it's not that oh oh great decorative tree, Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods. What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but Makar flew above the Forbidden Woods as if he drew close to it. Foolish little Makar. Link, you have heard of all this? The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hollowed island of the Forest Haven. Those woods, the whole region is vile to the place of evil beasts, and now it seems that they have t they have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions likely expects the great deeds to you. It is why he brought you here. I am sorry to ask you this, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? Oh, great Dekuchi, but people cannot fly through the air. Ah, uh, yes, thank you, child, you are right, but it, it is not possible to enter these woods from the sea, is it? Link, I guess I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children. Yet I think we may be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. Forgive me, Link, but could you please climb up on my crown of the crown and get the leaf from up there? Oh yeah, I guess I could. That was a lot of dialogue reading. I'm probably not going to read that much ever again, just because it took like five minutes. No, maybe not five minutes. Maybe like four minutes. Maybe three minutes around two. I don't know. But anyways, we're going to go on top of the Deku tree, then we're going to go get the Deku leaf, and then what that let us do, it lets us glide through the air so we can get to the other side of the Forbidden Woods. And then when we get to the Forbidden Woods, we have to go save Makar. And 
Makar is pretty much, if, as if you guys were, were not reading or reading or whatever, um, Makar is one of them Koroks, and he is, um, he's really special throughout later in the game though, I'm not going to spoil anything, but he, he has a big role later in the game, and I guess you guys just have to see it for yourselves. We'll let him see it at least. And you got the Deku Leaf. You can set it to this. I know I can set it to this. And and we get the Magic Meter. Um, we can upgrade the Magic Meter later throughout the game, though. And I feel like this, I know this is off topic, but I feel like this commentary has been really boring throughout today's episode. Um, I don't know. It's just I'm tired. And I I just want to get an episode out for you guys. And yeah. I don't know. It's it's a little bit weird, and people um I a lot a lot of people lately. I've been I don't know. A lot of them have been marked as spam. Like I don't remove comments, but a lot of people lately have been because on on one of the videos on my channel, uh, it's called uh, DK versus Villager, Villager versus DK, Smash Brothers animation. I don't think people realize people are because I understand what what they mean because um people are saying you're stealing this you're stealing this video for views you're stealing the video without all of this crap I'm and I feel like I don't feel bad or stupid or whatever I just feel like how not okay I'm not gonna call them idiotic but I guess ignorant they can be because I put in the description very sp like specifically that that video is not made by me and it's made by other people and I linked the original video to it I only uploaded it to my channel because I really liked the video at the time because when I was really into Super Smash Brothers, I thought it was like hilarious. So I want uh, to pretty much like promote the video. I wasn't doing it for my own views or whatever. I didn't even care if um, that video got no views. Oh crap! I messed up. I don't. I don't even care if that video got no views at all. It's just I wanted to help promote that video because I found it hilarious. So if, even if that video had no views, I it wouldn't. I wouldn't care because I just want to help promote that video because I found it funny. So everyone that's saying that, uh, yeah, you're wrong. I'm not stealing it for views. So I like it's like I clearly said the same thing in the description too. So I'm not gonna give away any specific names, but I'm sure if you can go to my uh, oh crap, I forget I magic. But I, I'm I'm sure if you go to my uh, video uh or not my video, but um I think it was. I don't know, I haven't watched that video in a long time, but, um, it's, I think it's by, like, Rice Pied or something like that, um, he made the video, and I uploaded it to my channel, because I want to promote the video, and, yeah, if, I mean, if enough people don't want it on my channel, then I'll take it down, but, I mean, as if now, though, I'm not taking it down, just for the fact I want to help promote it, because I like the animation, I thought they put a lot of good effort into it, so, yeah, that's, a, that, that's not much. So. Ah, uh, crap. And I died. Oh, no, I didn't. Huh. So, yeah, there's that. And as a, when I get into uh, the forest haven, or not forest, the forbidden woods, I'm going to uh, end this video off. So. Yeah. And then the next episode, we will go to the Forest Haven. And then complete that dungeon. Okay, get in the hurricane, or whatever you want to call it. Cyclone. And there we go. I like how they made it in this version so you can see under where you're going to land, but okay, now that we've made it to here, I'm going to have to end this episode off here. Sorry this video, we didn't do much. We pretty much all we ever did was just sail and go to the Forbidden Woods, but I will record again in about a few minutes, so subscribe to Epic Gamer today. I'll see you next time, everybody. Leave a comment and like if you liked the video, and if you want to see more of the series, go ahead and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.